Hi, uh, I'm here to uh, make a small video on, well, new tool to a lot of you, not new to me, uh, about the Easy RG Pro HD crimp tool. Crimp and cutter, it crimps and cuts at the same time, I'll show you that in a second. And the connectors that go with it. What's special about these connectors is that there's individual holes for each um, wire to pass through. Uh, this will do uh, braided, solid, anything, okay, CAD 5E, CAD 5, uh, depending on the connector that you get. And these tools are made by Platinum Tools, um, the website's right there. There are two ways of wiring this, but for this demonstration purposes, I'm just going to do point to point, straight through cable. So I'm going to do a certain color code, blue all the way to brown, um, to show you the uh, how easy it is to connect. Now, uh, I'm sure a lot of you know how to put on connectors, uh, the RG45 the old way. Uh, this tool here has got the, uh, got a blade here to break the casing, pop on through, and then you can begin your, your splicing. Now, I would always peel back, once you make the cut, to slip, peel back a little bit further to pass that point that you've made the neck, because you may have necked one of the wires. Then you can cut this here and begin your uh, your separation. Okay, so I've already got a cable here that's ready to go. So, again, for this purpose, I'm gonna just go direct. I'm gonna go blue, blue and white, orange, orange and white, green, green and white, brown, brown and white, all right? So, what you wanna do is you wanna cut here, make it flush, okay, check all your wiring. The best part here, as you're pushing this through the connector, it will separate all the lines. And you can actually verify, you know, blue, orange, green, brown, all in order. Push through until the casing is seated underneath the nub, all the way through, which is the best part, because back before you do that, you just have to cut it flat, push it down, this goes right through. So you always get a perfect connection every time, okay? Now that you've verified that your wires are correct, twist them, and I'll show you why I'm doing this. Okay, so makes a perfect connection. Make sure the casing's underneath the nub. Everything's good to go. Now let's do the exact same thing to the other side. Okay, so we're gonna go blue, orange, green, and let me get this brown one here. There we go. All right. All right, I'm gonna cut them straight. Okay, so blue, orange, green, brown. Push them through, and it's good. It'll, the 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 holes will actually guide the ca the the cable right through. Oops, give me a second here. There we go. Push right through. Verify your cables again. Blue, blue, and white. Orange, orange, and white. Green, green, and white. Brown, brown, and white. Push all the way through. Make sure the keys and seat underneath that nub, because when you crimp it, that's going to close down on it. Twist through. Okay. Again, this is a straight through cable, meaning pins one through eight are the exact same as one side and the other. All right, here's the best part. Once you put the connector through the tool, the tool will actually lock itself as it's crimping. If you look down here, as it's crimping, it's cutting flush right to the connector. Clean cut every single time, perfect connector. You can pull on that, the case will pull, pull out before the anything else does. Okay, we'll do here the same to the other side. Okay, again, if you notice, there's a locking mechanism as you're crimping down, it locks. So keep going until it fully completes the cycle. Pull out, boom, done. Simple patch cord, it's a straight through cable. All right, what I've got here is a simple tester. Always want to test your cables, no matter what. Um, so what you want to do is you want to plug one end here, okay? Plug the other end of this part of the tool, and you push the button. It's going to test all pins one shot, and it'll tell you straight through cable connected. If I was to build a crossover cable, it'd be one of these wiring, I believe it's the B, but it would. This tool will tell me if it's a crossover, if there's a short anywhere, and every time I always get a full pin one through eight connected straight through cable, done deal. Um, let me see here, test it there, and that's about it. So that's our testing tool, always good to have one, it's about 10, 12 bucks. This tool here goes for around 100 bucks, uh, depending on where you get it. 
Um, and the connectors, they're roughly the same price as the other type of connectors, but uh, it will not work if you don't get the right connectors for the tool. Uh, other than that, that's the whole thing. Thank you very much. Have a great day.